How are you folks? Uh, Tom Hannon here from Tom Hannon Photography. Um, just putting the finishing touches to the gear I'm packing there for to try capture this month's full moon rise. Um, so it's taking place this evening at 628 and the hope is to have it over the Rocky Castle in Tipperary. Um, it's an idea I've had probably for three or four years but I put a lot of work into it the last three or four months with other failed missions where you know literally declouded out so it wasn't even worthwhile at home. Today as ever the clouds are starting to gather and hopefully they will clear in time for, for my picture. At the minute it's probably 50-50 but it's still worth the taking the shot because the, the cloud cover is coming in registering as high cloud cover so there may be a chance of see, seeing the moon uh, sooner or later the day than all before just under the cloud cover so it's still worth a go um, as I said it was planned for three or four months and finally the day is here the midlands is absolutely sunny there's not a cloud in the sky typical enough when you're heading south but look what we can do is try our best and so I'm packing a good bit of gear here I have my R6 with the uh, 150-600mm Sigma and I have a Canon 1DX with a uh, 300mm lens but I also have two teleconverters the 1.4x and the 2 times. so the 300mm lens will turn into the 600mm 5.6 and the 600mm I think will turn into a, a 7.1 aperture at 840mm on the R6 and uh, two, two big sturdy tripods to try to deal with distance is five kilometers so a little the slightest wind would actually uh, could give you a blurry image with the, with the lens just moving that little bit so hopefully that the hopefully the clouds part and that we're able to see this image and take it over to Rocky Cashel and uh, yes that's it let's, let's see how things go so this is my plan here for the, the Rocky Cashel uh, full moon shot so the black pin is the Rocky Cashel the red pin is where I have to stand and this picture will take place at 1826 on Tuesday the 7th of March 2023. So just to zoom right in here. So this is the way it should appear along with the with the tower of the Rocket Cashel and the blue. The thick blue line is representative of how uh, large the moon will appear at that distance of 4.9 kilometers. And this is the red pin of where I have to stand. So right in here this uh, piece of uh, agricultural uh, land so from there as I said a distance of 4.9 kilometers so we have to go then and check everything and kind of make sure that we actually do have a line of sight from Google Maps and things it appears as if we do have a line of sight so it's just to uh, check out all those things and hopefully then capture the moon behind the, the rocket cash up so you can see here in Comfort leaving County Offaly and uh, blue skies so hopefully when we get the cash it'll be something similar so see you on the road thanks guys so just up here at the site here in Cashel now I've just spoke with the farmer he's given me permission to to be on his land here to take this picture so I originally wanted to do it from down this corner here but the ditch is actually uh, about seven or eight feet tall so can't see the don't have a clear view of the, the rock of Cashel at all but just the next field is also his there as well so with a great view there down along the way and um, just a few little bits of shrubbery kind of in the way but you know it's it's not really a bad view at all and perhaps when the moon's rising it might be even uh, silhouetted by then anyway so um i'm not sure if you can even see it there over my shoulder but it's down there so um it's a distance of 4.9 kilometers there so just down early what time's it there now so it's just half two now so it's just really to see is there a clear view get set up for it then and hopefully then the the, the clouds part and we get a, a really good moonrise coming up over the, the rocket cache it's still a uh, still a good bit of cloud around but so you see some blue sky as well there's the, the rocket cache just over here just over my right shoulder so hopefully it's about two three hours to go before the the moonrise shot so hopefully it clears just enough that we're able to get something over So this is what the weather is looking like at the minute there for six o'clock this evening there in Cashel. So as you can see, there's a, a good bit of thick cloud coming in from the south. Picture's at uh, roughly half six, so 
might just get away with it um there's another app i use there called clear sky and that's actually ruling out any hope at all but the cloud it is saying that's there is high cloud and as you can see there around you know between six and seven is 98 to 100 percent but it's all high cloud cover so hopefully there will be some sort of uh chance of, of getting the shot so this is the current view so it's still cloud just over actually over this way there's loads of clear sky coming so not really sure if it's just going to fluke a jet or not but it's uh, about 20 minutes to go so hopefully fingers crossed so this is set up one so this is the one the x mark 3 with a 300 mil and a two times extender and then over here we have the r6 with the Sigma 150 600 at 600 with a 1.4 converter. So you can see here just on the back of the camera there's the moon starting to rise and there it is way in the distance. So here I am zooming in really really far seven times there. So I have this camera flying away on the, on the time lapse. You can see there on that. So still just shooting away there just on the, the one DX here, you see the moon there rising right in behind the tower. Absolutely class. I, I was very worried about the whether we'd actually get to see it rising properly or not, but that's absolutely incredible. It's nearly exactly what I wanted. So there's time lapse nearly finished there, the moon just heading out of frame, heading in the cloud. Hurry folks, delighted now we actually got the shot. So it's disappeared now, up in behind the behind the cloud cover and still just finishing off time lapse anyway just to get a few seconds after. But uh no delighted now because um it was looking very hit and miss there for a while so delighted now that I was finally able to capture it and uh that the weather actually played ball and the clouds parted so brilliant thanks very much so I'll show you that time lapse there now thank you